Hi loves, Jay here with your monthly tarot predictions for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart, cross watchers are also welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you are old or new here, welcome back and welcome to the community. Be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss your final outcome. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of my info is in the description box below. If you are new here, please know that I channel spirit messages throughout my readings. And I like to start with um, my spirit insights as I've been in meditation and tapped into your energy here, Capricorn. And I'm feeling um, that some of you may have to sign a document or a contract or something. I'm going to say this because we are in Mercury retrograde until April 25th. And technically, <laughs> when Mercury is in retrograde, it could be a time of... Um, things being missed, there you know glitches. Um, this is a time of you know pulling back communication. Um, also, we're in a phase of like not it's like not making big purchases or signing contracts because things can go uh, unnoticed. So I would say just make sure that you read through your document or your contract thoroughly and make sure that it is ironclad before you actually sign on the line, okay? Because Mercury retrograde can sometimes do a, can, can do, make, do a doozy on people, okay? You could feel bamboozled. <laughs> so make sure that you are reading through this thoroughly, okay? I'm also feeling a possessive energy coming up. I don't know how that's showing up for you or is that someone that is possessive over you? But it feels, I don't know, it feels a, a little icky. I'm not going to say it's horrible, but I feel a little icky when, I feel, when I'm into that, when I'm feeling into that energy of possessiveness, okay? And that's also a very low vibration, so, which is why I feel icky. So that's something that is on the forefront that spirit is wanting you to pay attention to, okay? And I'm also hearing that some of you may, re, may be returning to something or returning to someone, Okay? Don't know how that's going to show up for you, your Capricorn. It's not going to resonate with everyone here. So take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Leave that behind. That's for someone else, okay? I'm also feeling some traveling that is coming up for you as well. That's fun, okay? And, and again, travel is fun. I'm feeling the fun that's coming up. But the, the funny thing is, or it's not funny, but the crazy thing is, it's not even that crazy either, but when I'm feeling a sense of fun, I can see this vision of you going back and forth like looking at two different people and I feel emotions around a decision okay so are you having fun with someone that you're not supposed to be having fun with are you having fun with two people and you need to choose between two like it could be two, it could be so many things here but it was interesting to feel a sense of having fun but emotional at the same time okay could it be someone's getting a divorce or you've had a breakup and you're just out trying to have a good time to get your mind off of things? It could show up in various ways for you, so I'm not sure how that's playing out for you. As you can see, I've already pulled a pre-shuffle for you so that I didn't have to shuffle on camera. So I pulled some angel cards for you and um, actually three cards came out. So there's three numbers that some of you can be seeing right now. The first number is 1221. And this is about you taking initiative. So there's going to be some change that's coming up. But I do feel a sense of optimism and joy that's coming up for you. A lot of communication messages could be coming in or you, you know, or sending those messages out. But good news is definitely coming in is what this number is saying. This is a time for expression and high vibration. So this is the reason why some of you are traveling, having fun. But again, I'm still a little curious about why the emotions are coming up with the fun okay this this 1221 is about um your angels are telling you to work with what you have and it will get you places count your blessing and acknowledge your dear ones you will find inspiration and figure out a way forward you might also be getting some good news soon okay so 1221 if you're seeing that taking the initiative Good news is on the way. Change is on the horizon. Optimism and joy. You're seeing 0110 or this could be 110 on the clock. This is about belief system. So if you're seeing this recurring, go after what you want. Okay, this is a unique opportunity and you're destined for something. This is something that inspires you. You may see different talents and gifts come to light. This is a time to be in appreciation and in gratitude. You're blessed with talents and skills that make it easy for you to stand out from the crowd. So embrace what makes you different. 
that's your path to, to, to success. Your dreams will soon come true. Very interesting. Good news is coming in. Your dreams are coming true. Things are looking up for you, Capricorn. If you're seeing 7777, this is about perseverance. Again, more change and change of perspective in, in this regard. So this is a time of reflection, finding your inner strength, really tapping into your wisdom and growing that enlightenment, okay? There's a need for a change of perspective on whatever has taken over you now. If you want to succeed, Capricorn, you need to keep going down the road you're on, okay? So this is confirmation 77 and 77 that you're on the right track. Reach for the wisdom within and then you'll just know what the right next step is, okay? So those are your three angel numbers. I'm actually going to put these here for referencing later. A chakra that you can work on during this time is your heart chakra and you can work on your sense of compassion, caring for yourself and others, empathy, really empathizing with other people as well, accepting people for who they are and being gentle with yourself and others. I really love this card because it's definitely connected to the heart chakra with the color green and then the flower is pink. So green and pink are um connected to the heart okay so I do feel like for some of you maybe you have just gone through something and now your heart space is opening up maybe there has been a blockage and now you're in this place now where you're feeling lighter you're feeling happier you're feeling more compassionate you're feeling more love I'm feeling even some of you are tapped into your sensuality now that empathy sympathy okay and you're in this place of accepting okay so there was something um something at your core something Something has brightened you, has opened you up, okay? That's what I'm feeling with this heart, with this compassion card here, okay? I feel like your flower was closed, and it makes sense now that we're in spring. Spring is a time where the flowers are blooming, and, and things are blossoming, so I do feel like you're opening up to something or to someone, okay? And maybe this could be this person that it could be returning, or something that's returning, or this could just be a new energy that's coming in. The, the number is also synonymous, uh, the number 28 breaks down to 1. Um, so this is definitely a new feeling for some of you or some of you are feeling like you're getting back to who you are, okay, because something has had stifled your energy in some way. A crystal that you can work with during this month is green tourmaline and your affirmation is abundance and prosperity are an infinite supply. I am grateful for the blessings in my life. Green tourmaline can help you believe in the unlimited wealth and success for all and for yourself and help you act philip, uh, philanthropically, philanthropically, I should say. Realize that the infinite supply is available to you, okay? This can help you magnetize ethical, heart-centered, and business associates, associates as well. And interesting enough, as I'm looking at all of this green, on the top of the deck of my crystal deck is malachite, okay? I actually do have, actually have a piece of malachite here, okay? Um, so again, connected to the color green and we're talking about compassion already in that affirmation says, I recognize repetitive patterns and choose love, compassion, and kindness. Okay. So green tourmaline or malachite can be stones that you work with during this time. A message for you to consider is a new romance, romantic cycle begins new moon in Libra. And we just had a full moon in Libra on March 25th with the partial lunar eclipse. We had a new moon in Aries on April 20, oh, I'm sorry, on April 8th, which it was a total solar eclipse. So we're in eclipse season right now, and that is normally like a six month period. And it's not often that we get to see a total solar eclipse. So for some of you right now, Maybe the reason why that compassion and love and that openness is coming up for you because there has been a new romantic cycle that has begun, whether you have met someone new or you are taking your current relationship to a new level, okay? So I'm going to pull your cards, your tarot cards. We're going to clarify each of those, all right? Let's see what's coming out for you. Let's do one more shuffle. Messages for Capricorn, please. That judgment wanted to come out reverse, so I'm going to take it reverse. Ooh, okay. All right, so we have the Queen of, so we have the judgment reversed. We actually have 
I've already pulled your overall energy here. So we have three cards that came out for your overall energy. The Seven of Water, the Page of Earth, your energy. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the Seven of Water, your energy here with the Page of Earth. And then the Ace of Air is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy here. So let's see what's coming up here. Decisions that you're going to have to make. Okay, and I don't feel like they are bad decisions at all because I'm feeling like this very shiny, vibrant energy coming from. I'm feeling some of you may, could be purchasing a home and maybe this is the contract that some of you may be signing or maybe you're signing a contract to a loan or some investment of something. Um, but I definitely feel like it has something to do with finances and bringing something tangible into your life. And I feel like there's a lot of options on the table for you here with the seven of water. So that's why it feels very complex for you. Maybe some of you are trying to decide which home, which area um, to purchase in. But this is also saying that if there's a need for you to do research. And the page of earth is all about research. Okay, it's a very scholarly energy or a person. So there is going to be some good news that is coming up for you around your finances or around um, whatever decision or contract that you are signing here. But um, I, I do feel like this is a, a level, a, a new level for some of you. This is something outside of your comfort zone. It may feel a little challenging for you, but this is definitely new. And I feel like there's going to be success in this. Okay, so the Ace of Air also com confirms too brilliant new ideas and inspirations are on the way. So I do feel like this is also about messages that are coming in. Okay, so maybe there is an approval on something. So approval on that loan, whatever you find your house goes into escrow, whatever this is, I do feel like it is looking up for you. So you take this how it fits for you, but that's the energy that I'm feeling. Um, some of you may be seeing a truth in the situation or you might be having a challenging beginning in something, but this is what that energy is feeling like. It's kind of all over the place because it could be related to your career, your finances, purchasing something or even a relationship. Okay, so that's what I'm feeling for you overall. Let's hop into um, your your obstacle or challenge that may come up for you during this time frame. And we have the judgment here is coming out. The judgment is coming revert, coming out reverse. I'm going to uh, pull a few cards, but this is an energy of some of you are f facing a sense of um, self-doubt or you could be ignoring something, okay? I ignoring something about yourself, something about someone, but this could also be uh, an energy of self-loathing as well. Let's let's pull some cards that a Hierophant wanted to come out, okay? So... I'm hearing some of you are, um, it feels like it's something that around a relationship or a decision that you need to make. Page of Pentacles is coming out again. We just had the Page of Earth that came out. So we have two major arcanas with the judgment coming out reversed. Okay. Very interesting because I'm feeling, I was feeling uh, initially like, you know, good news that the, the good news is, you know, definitely coming out a new start, but there's something that is challenging for you, Capricorn, that um, it, you're like, there's a, there's a stagnation or something. There's something going on here. Could it be, I don't know, I'm getting mixed emotions. I'm getting energy around, uh, you know, a portion of you leaving behind a relationship and going into a situation where you're needing to split assets or you're divorcing or something like that um, and you're trying to create new opportunities for yourself that is that's definitely coming to the forefront let me sit this judgment down because this higher font here is kind of overpowering this energy of like there needs to be a coming together but then that judgment is kind of like this energy of like there's a like things are at a halt there's a there's a change there's a change a change of heart a change of something that is coming up for you okay very interesting I, I don't know if it's some of you are wanting to be independent wanting to be solo wanting to be single um Maybe you're not expressing something here, Capricorn, and it feels challenging because I feel like this is because the judgment came out reverse. This is something that you're holding on to that you 
probably haven't expressed or you're probably not allowing yourself to feel or to do in some sort of way. But I do feel like my head is spinning too. But I do feel like it's, this is challenging because it's a lot of information that's coming up for you. And I'm almost feeling like your, your mind and your heart are not in alignment with something. Okay, I'm going to pull another card on this. Let me sit this down because there's a lot of energy coming from that. Seven of Swords, okay? Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is always an energy. I, I don't I don't particularly care for the Seven of Swords because this is always something done in secrecy. And it makes me feel because the judgment reversed here is an energy of like someone's not saying something. You're not saying something or someone's not saying something to you. But it, this could be betrayal, deception, trying to get away with things, very sneaky, conniving trickery kind of energy okay so could it be i don't know this could also show up in the, in the situation if some of you are purchasing a home or you're making some sort of big purchase where you're signing a contract someone's not telling you everything okay so this is why i'm saying especially because we're in mercury retrograde right now it is make, make sure that this is ironclad make sure you're reading the fine print on something so that you 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 know you're in the knowing and ask questions do your own research which is why that page of earth and the seven of water is here it's like do your own research because this could definitely be a challenging situation although it can end up in your favor which i do feel like it can end up in your favor but i don't feel like it's not i don't feel like it's easy i don't feel like it's an easy process it, i do feel like there are some things that you're going to have to communicate and you're going to have to ask questions you're going to have to get all of your ducks in a row before you're making a decision about whatever this is because it does does feel like it's something big okay so keep in mind that you know this this person the seven of the seven of swords energy here aquarius gemini libra this could be very dishonest okay so capricorn make sure that make sure you're getting your facts make sure you're getting your facts from your person because someone someone is not telling everything okay I'm just I'm just telling you that however that shows up in your life here someone's not someone's holding on to something okay all right so ooh, okay <laughs> Where you're headed is the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So some of you are dealing with an air sign or this is a lot of communication that you have with someone. But I, I definitely feel like you're you're dealing with someone who's very strong willed and they are going to um, they I feel like they're very in, 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 opinionated. They're independent, but they can be very critical of you. I feel like. I feel like there's a level of honesty that comes out, but I only feel like this, on, this honesty comes out when they're upset. Okay? And I'm feeling like this is turning into a relationship reading here. Page of Swords, the lovers. There we go. The lovers. So someone that you're connected to here, Capricorn, has a very strong personality, like I said. They're very independent. They're loving. They're caring. Um, but there's some trickery involved. <laughs> There's some trick. I'm, I'm feeling the trickery that's involved here. I don't know what is coming up for you, but someone, you know, this person, this page of swords, there is a level of immaturity that's there. And I feel like there is, again, some secrecy that is coming up. There is some curiosity that they may be feeling um, about something or about someone. They're not sharing. Like I said, that judgment energy is here. They may not be sharing. So that judgment may not even be your energy. It could be theirs. Um, the judgment is Scorpio energy, but hmm, maybe it's you. You have, oh, my throat is closing up. <coughs> yeah, someone's not telling the truth, okay? Someone's not telling the truth about something for sure. My throat's closing up. It's like uh, the Queen of Swords, she got a lot to say when she's feeling a certain way. And you can, you know, however this applies to you, it's not gender specific. I'm just going with the energy I'm feeling from the card. When the Queen of Swords, when she has something to say, oh, she's going to say everything. When she, you've hurt her feelings or you've done something or he, he's hurt your feelings, whatever, they're going to say it. But there are other things that there's, a, I'm feeling a level of unhappiness. And I don't know if that's coming from your end or, or your person's end, but I do feel like they're curious about other things. Okay. Other things, other people, like I've already said. And normally this page of swords is someone who is very honest. And, and, and yes, maybe they are honest, like I said, when it comes to when things are about them. 
Or could it be that they're always making things about them? <laughs> That's what it feels like. They're very honest when it comes to their feelings. Okay. Um, let me pull some more energy from this. I need another card. Three of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, I'm, I'm feeling like someone, either you or your person, I feel like they may, I feel like there's a disconnect and someone is out either partying, doing things with other people, having a good time. They're trying to escape from something. The lover's card is like you do have, some of you are married. Some of you are just in a very strong commitment with one another or agreement with one another. But it almost feels like there is a disconnect that is happening, okay? You're wanting to focus on fun. They're wanting to focus on fun. One of you or both of you, I'm not sure. But this is probably the reason why I was feeling like there's a lot of fun coming up for you, but then there's an emotion behind the fun. Okay, so maybe some of you are taking more time to um, party, spend time with your friends. And maybe you're leaving them behind where they're feeling like they're left alone. Okay, they're feeling like there's a disconnect between your love connection here. And it's almost like this. there needs to be a conversation or there needs to be a counseling session. Okay, couples therapy, because I'm definitely feeling like this is a strong bond. So marriage or or history or just a very strong connection between you and someone. But I definitely feel like you're on different pages. That's what that feels like to me. Like someone's holding on to something. Okay. And someone is being, could be, this person could be spiteful, could be judgmental. And that's why I feel like that spiteful, that seven of swords that we were talking about, spite, spiteful, deceptive energy. It's very confusing, but something is not right in a dynamic with you and a person that's very close to you here, Capricorn. Okay. Not sure. and not exactly sure how that's showing up for you, but I feel like you're wanting to escape and have a good time because maybe has it has been there has been a lot going on and maybe for some of you there has been too much communication i know some capricorns december and january capricorns are very different december capricorns are very vocal january capricorns are very to themselves okay they don't they don't say a lot some of them are sweeping things under the rug and so i, I definitely are feeling like something is hitting ahead OK, so that's where that's where you're headed during this time frame is um, a lot of communication is coming up for you, Capricorn. And for some of you, I know you're like, I don't even want to hear that. I just want to have a good time. But there is going to be a, a conversation of honesty and you have to be direct. OK, and it is not this is about constructive criticism as well, like what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Okay, so there's going to be a very powerful conversation that you're going to have to have with someone to get on the same page because I definitely feel a disconnect that is coming up. Okay, what's happening in your near future is the Seven of Cups. Oh, geez. So remember, we've already pulled the Seven of Water initially in your overall energy. And so this is coming up again, which is this is you are feeling a sense of... <clears throat> I feel like I feel like there's a there is there's a lot of things going on, which also makes sense why we pull that in the overall energy. Like I said, there was a lot of opportunity, a lot of things going on. This is an energy of you uh, of of feeling overwhelmed here, and um, funny how there aren't many pinnacles in this reading, and you your your sign is connect your Earth sign is connected to the pinnacles. We only had the page of Earth that came out twice, but there's a lot of cup energy and cups and um, swords. So a lot of emotions that are coming up. And I feel like you're embodying this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here where you may be feeling overwhelmed. You're not sure which decision you need to make. There's just too much going on. And, and some of you are day daydreaming to escape what you're going through. OK, so there are a lot of choices that you're going to have to. I am not want to say a lot, but there are going to be choices that you're going to have to make in order to get over this energy here so the number seven is also um, a very spiritual number so it is about um interesting as i just looked up and i forgot we pulled 7777 but it is about connection and spirituality and remember we pulled this number and it's about 
perseverance. So you're needing to persevere through a situation. There's going to be a change of perspective. Maybe you're seeing someone differently than you saw them initially. This is a time for you to reflect and find your inner strength so that you could feel a sense of enlightenment. Okay, so lots coming up for you here in your near future. Two of Cups. Um, and the Queen of Wands. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But whatever this is, is between Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, or this is like your emotions, because I'm feeling you you are emotional. Um, this could also be your person as well, but I feel like you're embodying the Cups energy. Two of Cups, Queen of Wands, where I feel like it's a very intense situation between you and someone. And, I've, and, and I'm hearing... Um, my relationship is on the line or my life is on the line. I'm not sure what is on the line for you, but I feel like there's a lot of things that you are searching for and you're hopeful for. You're in this place of wishful thinking, hoping that things will change. Okay, Maybe there are issues with conceiving, but there are issues with parenting, there are issues with how you do, how things are done domestically. Again, it feels a little combative. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to say combative. Because I don't really, I, I feel like it's almost one-sided. One, one person keeps, they're pointing the finger at you. Um, it feels, like I said, it feels very one-sided when it comes to whoever this is that you're dealing with, okay? Um, very interesting. Very interesting energy that's coming up here because it definitely feels very over, overwhelming. And, and it feels like a lot that is going on between you and a person, okay? Um, I'm also feeling maybe some of you, um, I don't, know if I already mentioned that you maybe there could be issues with conceiving or parenting or how you're doing things domestically I think I may have said that but my video actually got cut off so um, there's I, I feel like I feel like there's it's so intense that you just uh, it's like you kind of you you look away like you just you're turning the other cheek because you don't even want to deal with it okay so you may be that you know you may be that January Capricorn who's just I don't want to deal with this. It's, it's too much. I would just go out and have a good time with my friends, okay? However, that's going to show up for you. Yeah, Five of Pentacles is here as well. So now your energy where you're feeling like you feel left out, okay? So somebody's making you feel left out, and I feel like it is not equal. There's a lot of conflict that is coming up between you and someone, and it feels a heavy, like a heavy energy where it's just like cold. Somebody's being cold-hearted to you as well, Capricorn. That's what this feels like, okay? So I feel like, again... Like you're almost, almost like you're in this alone. Okay, I hate to, I hate to, um, I hate to feel this energy for you. Okay, because I, I know that fun is coming up, and maybe it's just because the traveling part could be that maybe you two need a little time apart to sort of think about things, or to um, that's part of your reconciliation, reconciliation, or you're actually separating. I don't know how that's going to show up for you, but now your energy is here with your advice as the devil, okay? <laughs> I'm going to pull some cards on that before I get into this devil energy because that is about temptation and bondage, manipulation, addictions, materialism, um, feeling restricted in some sort of way. And and this could be for you, um, you know, Capricorn, where you've, you've gotten to this place where um, you're not happy at home and you are tempted outside of the home, Okay. That is, um, it, it happens often, every day, all throughout the day. We have the King of Pentacles, your energy, and then we have the Fool. Somebody think they're trying to play you for a fool, right? <laughs> Someone thinks you're a fool. I'm feeling this energy from this air, this air energy where they're feeling like, oh, they're not going anywhere. That's what I feel. They're not going anywhere. And there's almost like they're playing you for a fool and they're taking, I don't want to say they're, they could be taking advantage of you, but it makes me feel like they've got you on lock. They feel like their love is so strong and so powerful that you won't go out and do anything, okay? But you are definitely tempted here with the devil, definitely tempted by something or by someone, okay? Because I feel like this is a level of escapism that you're just trying to get away from it. You're trying to either shed someone up, you're trying to just do what is best for you in this moment, and it doesn't matter who it hurts, but I definitely feel here that there is some manipulative energy involved in this, okay? I feel like you're very calm and chill. You're cool. You want to have a good time. But I do feel like you are, you know, you could be, you could be played for a fool. Or this could be you just deciding, I'm going to step out on the limb and do what I want to do, okay? So maybe it has been all about this person, 
and now it is you're making it about you but just make sure that you're making the right decisions because when the devil shows up that is not that's not good that's not good energy that is low vibrational energy that is temporary fun temporary happiness and it you know it it, it never really ends well okay so make sure that you're being very smart about the decisions that you make as far as what your fun is so that you're not ruining something. Now, if you decide to separate, walk away from someone, then you have all the fun you want, but still do things in moderation. But just make sure someone is not trying to play you for a fool here, Capricorn, okay? Um, because I the, I feel like this fool energy is also the, the uh, like Aquarius energy here, where, you know, it's, it's like, I mean, it's not really Aquarius, but I'm feeling Aquarius energy. It could also be Aries energy because when we talk about the Fool, we talk about a new beginning. And Aries are the beginning of the Zodiac. But this person is very spontaneous. They get in the mind frame where they just don't care. It's all about them. Like, they're going to do whatever they want to do while you're sitting home, loving them, taking care of the home, making sure that they're good and they're protected. And they're, and they're living their best life and they're out there doing whatever they want. Okay, so that's what I'm feeling is to not be paid, played for a fool here. And whatever whatever you are engaging in Capricorn, make sure it is in moderation and it doesn't hurt anyone. Okay, your final outcome here is the Six of Pentacles. Let's pull some clarifiers around that. I feel like all you want is equality in this relationship. You want love, you want support. You want to feel grateful for your person. You want them to be grateful for you and all of the things that you do for them. But I'm also feeling like gifts aren't enough at this point. That's what this feels like. Seven of Cups. Third time the Seven of Cups is coming out, right? Yes. Seven of Water. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. Three times. 77, 77, okay? You're going to have to get through this. You're going to have to change your perspective. You're going to have to reflect on if this is the right decision for you, okay? Find that inner strength, that wisdom, so that you can get to a place of enlightenment. This is a lot. These are a lot of sevens that are going on here, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Queen of Pentacles, your energy. So I feel like you're overwhelmed, you're overwhelmed with the responsibilities. You're overwhelmed with holding up a relationship. You're overwhelmed with how much you love this person. Like, I feel like it's, you want equality, which makes me feel like you're not getting that right now. Three of Wands. Could it be that you're waiting for something else, that you're going to be waiting for something else to come in? You're waiting for them to make a move. You're waiting for them to make a change. Unfortunately, Capricorn, you're going to have to put your big boy panties on, draws on, your girl, big girl panties on, and you're going to have to make the decision, okay? You cannot wait for this person to change. You can't make wait for them to make the change because for them in their mind, they're not doing anything wrong. But you, you want something different right now, okay? And you deserve to have that. So that is your final outcome. I'll leave it at that. That is your message for the month. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If any part of this resonates with you, leave me a comment below. If you like to see a different spread or do you, if you like the spread, add something, take something away. Let me know your feedback. Keep it positive. And uh, share this with your family and your friends. Like this video. I'll see you guys very soon. Good luck to you and all of your endeavors that are coming up for you, Capricorn. Many blessings and love and light to you. Peace.